you want to flip your cat's out. So we use that. Better put him over here to keep the flipping eye on you. Right, Monday, this Monday it's uh, a bit of mixed stuff. Uh, it's the day when I usually go out and buy odds and ends, blah de blah de blah. Um, yeah, I did one or two bits a day, but there's one or two bits to show you. Um, one thing I'll get out of the way. Um, a few weeks back I bought a kilt and uh, lots of rigmarole that went with it, uh, which is really good. The kilt was just a little bit too long. They're usually 24 inches and this was about 25 something. So it looked a bit longer than the kilt. <laughs> Must have been a tall bloke. And I put it in to have it took up at the bottom, which they've done, and they actually give it a press about that. So that's the, that's the new kilt. It's pretty flipping neat. Uh, it's sort of a bit summery colour for me, but there you go. It's been took up. Uh, <laughs> probably a bit of a shock to it. <laughs> When you go to turn the bottom up and you realise that you've got 26 foot of material to go along. Uh, I think the young girl said it took her a day. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a bit funny really. So what today? Right, just to get my tash out of the way. Bought a couple of bits today. The two are the same in different bags. But... I really like these. Um, I'll show you in a moment. Some will like them, some won't, but I do. And the two wine glasses, and if you have a look at the detail, which is in, uh, I don't know what it is. It's it's something. It's something on the glass that's risen up. Um, so I don't know what it is, but if you look at it, it's a, it's a if you look at it here, it's a really blood red glass, and it's got all this detail around it. And the other one, which is slightly different, if you look at the design. Um, but there's two, they just had two, and they were three pound each, and uh, said I'll give you them for two pound each. Um, but how about that, that sort of goth decadence? <laughs> that is real, well for me, that is really, really acute, flipping kick-ass glass that. I'm going to uh, invite Count Vlad around and we'll share a couple of red wines between us. So, yeah, that's really good. And put six glasses away for next week, which are a similar sort of style, the same blood red, this, uh, this gold and uh, floral bit on them. To some degree but they're they're wider and f like that which I'm assuming I'm not that up to it but um, they look like champagne glasses but decadent like that so I'm quite pleased with those uh, like I said I should pick the others up next week that bloody made you jump, didn't it? <laughs> the other thing I've got here, the Mammoth book of thrillers and ghost stories and mysteries. <sighs> Would you believe it? Every bloody, every freaking time I start, flip it. There's the book. There's a bat on it. For those that like bats, there's this fine bit. 
and it sent a nice solid leather cover. And if you look at the colour of the the pages, I, I don't know if it shows up quite the same there, but they are pretty coffee coloured, I imagine, with age. And if you look inside, um, I was looking in to see uh, if I could find a date, and it was uh, printed in 1938. And if you look there, was given as a gift, I assume, to R.B. Howard. Uh, May. Looks like one, one five one. But I think that's a bit. It's probably May the fifteenth, nineteen thirty nine. So that was a year after it was printed, and. Uh, the sort of print you get in it. I don't know if there's, that's probably about it. Um, there might be one or two somewhere. Uh, when you get, when you get a new story start, you get something like that. But the unusual thing, I don't know if that's the author, it's probably the author. Um, the strange thing is if you have a look Look at the, the bottom, or well, the bottom, the top. See that little green strip? <clears throat> well, you open it up and you get that. I don't know if you can uh, read it properly there, but it says, read this before you break the seal. So you read this green bit before you break it you've been warned and it more or less says the nine stories that follow that are in that seal there the seal um, the nine stories that follow are for those who like the tales of ghosts and mysteries neat their stories, especially if you read them alone after dark, that make you glance over your shoulder and perhaps even start when there's a creak on the stairs. Bit of a bugger if you ain't got any stairs, isn't it? That will make you freaking jump. And the funny thing is, I, I wondered if that had been pulled off and then slid back on, but doesn't particularly seem like it so whether or not the person that had this book wanted to venture into breaking that seal and reading the stories that are within that so there's the stories and there's nine that are sealed up at the end of the book it's a pretty neat little idea so that's one nice little ghosty book Anything else happened today? Not a lot. Um, in the post I got some of my Kilted Goth pin badges. Just for the sake of it. And the only other thing today really is I thought I'd show you a electric guitar that I'm customising up a little bit. So it's, it's broke down pretty basic at the moment. Um, and I'm not so much really a, an electric guitar man I'm more a, a bass but there you go I think if I turn it that way up you might be able to see the, the skeleton so that's there something's gonna go round here I don't know whether they're going to be in uh, Blackwood or a silver colour, uh, probably keep the theme of skulls. So they'll either be carved wood, black, or um, they'll be silver skulls. And that will be one electric guitar. 
But, like I said, I'm more of a bass guitar man. Um, so that's more or less it this week, folks, for the Monday. Um, I love the glasses. Uh, I'm looking forward to the ones next week. And uh, who knows, I might show you the new ones next week. But they are really, really nice flipping glasses. Um, yeah, um, great book. I should get off my backside and start reading it. Um, will I want to delve into the sealed part at the end? Who knows, I might come on here a blithering wreck. So, have fun folks. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Have fun. Enjoy the week. Seven days, you know. <laughs> have a good one.